everybody, and welcome to another episode of Bubble Office. Um, oh, oh, I'm all the way downstairs, and I do need to show y'all the top. Um, my two little kitties have been very bad before this episode, so for right now, they're going to uh, stay down here because, well, I am coming back here. It's not like it's a punishment, like I'm never coming back to see them. But um, hopefully nothing decides to come out, so I'm just going to have this just in case. Um, this is the scary tower, so you know, you never know what's going to happen. But, okay, so, um, here is the absolute 100% finished, um, can't even know what this is, enchantment table, <laughs> so enchantment room, um, or potion room, you know, whichever one you want to call it. So here's my, um, little design to, like, keep people out, you know, like, 99% of the time you're not going to go like straight through like that like I mean if you just remembered where my cursor was but um like it, it's just it's just a way for you know me to keep it a little bit more uh, mysterious but um on the top I have lined the room with um redstone torch lamps redstone lamps I guess yeah so um I lined the room with them just to make it more brighter in here at first I um I just had some torches you know up at the tops but um it just it just wasn't giving off a like a bright vibe like it's already mysterious um we don't need just lamps i mean just uh torches so i did the same thing uh in here if you guys didn't see this was the first room um i didn't really do much in terms of making it pretty um because i wanted as many books in here as possible i did not uh finish the floor so i guess 99 percent finished um yeah, but um, this is the new part. So in here, um, I haven't filled it up with anything um, because I don't have a lot of the um, like necessities for any type of potion. Um, but for these potions, I swear I put glass in them the last time. I'm not sure why it doesn't have them now. Oh, it does. It's just, there we go. Oh, it didn't load in. That's so stupid and right here too yeah okay so i did have one here um and also with a cauldron but i decided to um take them away because i wanted another big picture instead of just having um doorways it's not really uh, mysterious but um i mean yeah that's uh that's basically it for this room oh and then I, you know i added um uh, an anvil just so you know just to have more of them more of the magic the merrier and oh I'm getting ticklish okay um also in here and I'm actually gonna keep this it was my inf infinite uh, water source so um, at first it was just going to be like um, here just for me to fill up the cauldrons but um, I kind of like it you know like if you just running through maybe you're like on fire or whatever the case may be just um, run back through your portal um, and you'll be fine I mean except for the fact that like if you're like super far away you don't have like a portal watch which I mean that'd be pretty cool that would be pretty cool but I don't know why I'm going up I need to go down um, but that's that's basically it for all of, um, just for what I did for the um, like enchantment room while you guys were not here um but today i actually wanted oops to make a um tribute to my horse okay so i didn't really um like give him an option but he had to come sleep with my friends and he's had to share that um small bath you know with all these different um sheep and another thing is i i want to change the sheep um on the inside to have grass floors because um they they deserve more food than just you know every day wheat like that i have over there it's not fair everybody else is special um might as well make more of me you know special and happy um but okay so for the horse it is kind of um pushing it you know and um is giving me less room to like just run around but um who cares like this is this is a lot of um you know this is a lot of room and you might as well like use it to its, its advantage and i just threw that come on okay so um did i just delete that to bring it back 
No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, so I'm going to make his um, place actually one shorter because I see the pig and I don't want it too close to the pig. So I might have to make this an abnormal shape. How about that? He deserves that. Everybody else's is about the same and it's like squarish. And then he comes to my place and it's, you know, like it's all like nice and fluffy. All right, so if I bring it a few away from the pig's nose, so about right here, if I do that and I start down here, um, maybe two more and I, I bring it out because that's obviously not going to stay there. Okay, so um, listen, Simba. Yeah, I named, I named him. It's Simba um, because this is what happens. When I'm telling them to sit down for the first time, like, I haven't named this one yet, but she sits down unless they are over by this, ch like, chest. For some reason, even if I sit them down, like, they'll just come run up on this chest and they'll just sit here. And I'm like, well, that's not safe because, you know, if you back up, well, it was closer, but if you back up, um, you can just follow the ledge and then I, you know, have to come get you and it's just stuff I don't want to do. Um, but, you know... Simba, old Simba here doesn't like to listen. So, um, yeah, for the, um, basin of it, I am just going to, um, leave it like this and I'm gonna actually come out. I haven't, maybe like shadow, night, I don't know. You're like dark and you deserve a cool, mysterious name. Um, like, oh, uh, if. Oh, wait, you are a she. What about, um, no, because you're not human. <laughs> I was going to say cat woman, but you're not a woman, so it's kind of pointless. But, okay, if I bring it to right here. Yeah, this is a nice look. Actually, if, oh, I wish I could fly right now. But that just made it look like, you know, a, a, like a nose, like a horse's nose. And then you have this nice little, like, head right here oh actually yeah I can show you guys from the top because you should you should see what I'm talking about um hopefully hopefully you see it oops this is my only problem with the chicken coop okay and yeah, running 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 I didn't need to come in here <laughs> I just remembered okay I needed to go um to the top and I forgot I didn't make this um only one place but okay, now we're getting places. So if I go to the top, you guys can probably see. Look at them, they're just so ready to go sometimes. Oh, oh man. Well, I can't just have that there, can I? He just, anyways, okay, here. So you guys probably see it, maybe. It's like, that pops all together but oh it's kind of like a dinosaur i guess i don't i mean it's just like i see it that's the head and like that's the nose and it's just it's a head it's a horse's head if you can't see it okay where's the exit i think it's right here and i know there's no chicken waiting because that would be rude okay and stop <laughs> they're so funny okay so if I just come off slowly like here, oops, okay. That is pretty dangerous. I told myself I was going to line it a little bit, um, line it a little bit better, like a little bit wider, I guess. And I come here and I do it again. And then I come here and I come in again. The reason why I'm coming in is cause like I'm outlining this chicken coop. Um, so I don't have, um, so I don't use up too much space, but I am going to leave, um, a good amount of space from the rest of this place and the horse's place. Like, this is pretty huge for one horse. So I am hoping, you know, like later on, um, you know, if he appreciates me enough, <laughs> he'll let me find another horse out there and we can, you know, let it trail and follow us all the way back home. But, um, this is going to be 
the um, last little set I'm doing. And then on the top, um, I'm going to do um, fences. I don't think, to be honest, that I have enough wood for fences to go across. Um, yeah, because I have to do the rest of this. And it's going to be way over 42. Um, but I just wanted to get whew, this um, over with. Um, yeah, I don't... Will I have enough? Um, maybe, 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 maybe. We'll see. Um, at first, I was just going to leave it as, um, one. But when you start growing your horse, like, um, I am. And I'm actually going to run to that. I have 11. That could make probably, like, six. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, actually. I was gonna go to my room, but, um, this is where I was before the episode just so that I didn't have to be all the way upstairs and have to run back down. Just a waste. And look, he's always taking over my bed. Like, before this episode, I was getting a good healthy sleep. And he, like, as soon as I put the bed down, he was just like, oh, hey, it's mine now. Like, no. No, it's not. It's not. But, um... Okay, so, also, another reason why I did this, um... Yeah, I have to actually go one more higher. I just noticed that. So I'm going to do, like, grass in some area. Um, and I'm going to do a sand pit, you know, over here. I'll probably um, have where his, um, like, like a little hay floor. And the reason why I'm going to do hay floor is because, you know, they have, like, straw for, um, like, where they sleep. I don't know why i think it's because it's like easier to clean up you know after them and wow that is some green wow look at that color spectrum is that not great i'm i just love color and i think i do know why it's because um this little roofing right here so when you get out you're like closer um to the green side over here for the uh, jungle part so yeah um let's just do I'm going to do, actually, a good bit. Um, and if you want to know how to, like, stay in survival mode and get um, this little, like, the, the green patch is still on there, um, just enchant your um, shovel or whatever you're trying to break with. Um, if you enchant it with silk touch, you get to, <clears throat> you get to keep that. Uh, the way it is so I'm also going to do a little water area so um I know I said over here I'll do sand but it looks like I'm not even gonna have enough um sand to keep it like that so I'm gonna do the sand over here and Simba you need to go sweetheart no Simba okay I don't want to hit you come on Simba no Come, come here. See, this is what I'm saying. This is Simba right here. Like, he is running like crazy. I mean, I love the energy. Don't get me wrong. So, I said I'm going to do hay, actually, right here. So, um, we're going to hop up. I know I'm not going to have um, a lot. So, that's that'll be it. But then, it should finish um, right here, you know? And then, I'll have, like like a little gated area so he can like just go to sleep or whatever and yeah this is gonna be one more higher so nothing to worry about um or I can leave it like that let me see how I like this yeah it's all it's all um like thought of as soon as I feel like doing it so if I do that he can't hop over I do believe so here let me put a piece of sand Maybe I can parkour. Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, let me just get up here and I'm going to start the sand. And you're going to see I'm going to do the um, outside part like this. Um, but when it comes to the inside, I'm going to keep it um, being this like sand sand. Okay. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is because look at that. It like this is they don't usually like stand in the corner. You know, like it looks like uh, they're like they're moving around, you know. I'm in this space. Oh, okay. But, okay. So, um, that's my beginning, and I'll finish it next time, okay? Thanks. Bye.